Doctors, needles, and children aren't typically a serene combination, but new research at Rady Children's Hospital proves otherwise. Finding acupuncture is an effective, drug-free way to treat pain in kids who've had a tonsillectomy. Ear, nose, and throat surgeon Dr. James Ochi, who authored the study, and Dr. Farshad Ahadian, medical director of the Pain Management Center at UC San Diego, are here with the details of this very interesting study. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Ochi, the FDA uh, issued its strongest warning about the use of codeine in children after a tonsil or adenoidectomy um, because of some serious risk factors and on rare occasion even death. Um, what is the typical pain level and recovery time for kids who have tonsillectomies? Sure. Children typically suffer pain for about 10 days and it can be quite severe at first and then it typically levels off as each day progresses. And uh, Dr. Ahadian, there's some traditional uh, options for pain relief in children, including codeine or liquid Vicodin, correct? Correct. Um, what are these pain options and why was codeine considered uh, dangerous? Well, when we talk about pain management, we really think about a continuum of therapies, everything from the most conservative things such as self-care, ice packs, heat packs, um, to uh, simple analgesics, non-narcotics, and then finally on to mixed analgesics, low uh, potency narcotics mixed with uh, acetaminophen or, or uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, and then on to more potent narcotics. And then in more severe cases, sometimes even epidural an uh, administration of uh, pain medications, um, uh, Spine, like in, a in the spine, that have in labor and similar to labor analgesia, um, and even uh, regional anesthetic techniques. So it's a wide, wide range. What is the biggest worry, worry in treating uh, kids with medication? And, and again, coming back to the codeine issue. Well, again, uh, we need to look at their comorbidities. Certainly, people at extremes of age, be it um, premature. Uh, or newborns or very young children tend to be uh, more prone to the adverse effect of these drugs. Respiratory depression is the most important thing to be, we worry about in these patients. I see. And Dr. Ochi, you did a clinical study, this one that we're talking about at Rady Children's Hospital, uh, to test acupuncture pain relief on 31 patients ages uh, 2 to 17. Yes. And um, what were your results? They typically have a pain level of about 5.5 when they presented to me after surgery. And then, on, a, on a scale of 1 to 10. That's right. Mm -hmm. I should have said that. Mm -hmm. And then after 15 minutes of acupuncture, the pain level fell to 2. And it lasted, the results lasted for? For about two and a half days with on With one average. acupuncture treatment. Yes. I see. Um, the kids that we're looking at right now, they're getting their acupuncture in their forehead and their arms and they're smiling. How did you get these young patients to let you put acupuncture needles into them? Well, I simply did it on myself and I brought an acupuncture needle here. And what I would say to the children is I would show them the needle and I would say, this is my hand and I would simply take the needle and then just bury it to the hilt in my hand right in front of them. Without even flinching. Yes, and so I would tell them, this is not an owie, believe me. And they believed you. Yes. Clearly they did, we can see that. Yeah. Um, uh, how, does a, a doc, how does a doctor accurately, and I'll ask you this, Dr. Hadian, how do you determine, especially in children, um, pain relief in a pain and the relief if the child's too young to talk, if they're a year and a half or two years old. That's right. Um, well, <clears throat> so Dr. Ochi mentioned uh, the scale of zero to 10, uh, which we use typically in, in adults. Um, in children or even uh, in adults who are not able to communicate as well, uh, we have certain modifications of that. The most commonly, the one he used in his study is called the FACES scales. Um, so simply um, simple FACES go from a very happy face to a you know, sort of medium uh, uncomfortable face to an extremely uncom uncomfortable crying face. Um, so those are some of the alternatives ways, um, but also just observing the child, uh, talking to the parents. What should, and I'll start with you, Dr. Ochi, what should uh, parents do if they see this and they say, okay, I want my child treated with acupuncture for pain relief? Maybe it's not for tonsillectomies. Do they come to the doctor? What do they do? Well, that's a great question because there are very few doctors that practice acupuncture and surgery. Um, one of the things they could do is simply talk with their doctor and find out if they have any good referrals for acupuncturists. Okay, so go to your pediatrician yes. first, say that you want it, and yes. then maybe they might be referred. Yes. The other option is that my study is available to everyone on the web free of charge, and so that might help them too okay, to understand help, a little bit more help about them this. figure out of it. Yes. Okay, well, Dr. Ochi and Dr. Ahadian, thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.